Okay, welcome back to the channel, guys. We are back with um, Layers of Fear, the 2023 version. Uh, I'll give a heads up. I do apologize if uh, you hear barking. It's a nice day and my dogs are in the gym. So, right, where are we? Can't fight her. Well, I'm, I'm not planning on fighting. So, well, yeah, we've, we've done all that. Right, so we've got a key, I think. Did we pick up a key? I can't remember if we have a key. Which colour should I choose? Um, could it be possibly the uh, rocking one? Don't want to look around. Oh! Okay. All right, should put that back up on the wall. Oh. Oh. Uh, all right then. That must be us when we got married or something. Pretty old fashioned one though. So I think we got three parts of our picture, our painting, judging by the thing down the bottom. <coughs> Shapeless dreams. Yep. See, trick to this, don't look back. Unless you, like, really have to. There's a lot of fucking apples. Uh, honey? Okay? Uh, you I do you. had the most beautiful dream last night. I dreamt he came to me, embraced me, loved me, as he once did. But we both know that while I dreamed my silly little dream, it was you. It was you he really lusted for. Again? Relationships may look great on the silver screen, but the rest of us mortals have to face the simple truth. Nobody's perfect. And you know what? That's fine. In fact, many loving couples struggle with day-to-day -day life in a relationship. This does not make them any less special. It just takes some work. And we're here to help. Our consultants, all trained experts in their field, will help you identify the source of your troubles I think the and deal with it bio at your own pace. Was a giant Whether it's simple miscommunication, money problems, or conflicting personalities, where there's a problem, there's always a solution. And remember, it's never too late. Ah, uh, sure. Honey, you want to go to therapy? I think we should drop the Takata here. People won't be able to concentrate on anything but your music. It's about our family, after all. About both of us. I'm sure Thomas would agree with me. Uh, you should have had to stop playing the piano, you know? The thing that she's great at.
I mean, that's just not supportive, dude. This reminds me of uh, Don't Knock Twice. Because that was about an artist as well. I know the paintings are just annoying. Side it's showing it's that, right? Ooh. That's showing it's empty. What the heck? Oh. How do I get that to go stay there? Let's see, if we look through there... That painting, okay. So if we look through here, we got that painting. If we look through here, we got that door. God, I'd hate to be the housemaid in this place. That's a bit random. get stuck if you keep moving like that, I guess. So, how... How do I do this? I don't know, maybe maybe I've got to, like, eat some dinner or something. This is making sense. Uh... Alright.
can two people who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly, drift so far apart? My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessively working on one veiled painting after another. He won't even sleep with me anymore. I can tell he's disgusted by me. The look he gave me the other day. That pathetic, hurtful look. A combination of shame, guilt, and repulsion. <laughs> I've come to realize that I've become a monster in my husband's eyes. It feels like nothing a woman should ever experience. Still, being the good wife that I am, I decided to realize my husband's fantasy. If he thinks me a monster, I will sure as hell act the part. Watch him drown. Dear sir or madam, we must kindly, albeit strongly, urge you to keep your voices down during the night. Your marital problems, while regrettable, are a private matter and should remain that way. They are certainly of no concern to us and especially our children. Please, consider that not everyone is a freelance artist. Some of us have to get up early and work for a living. We need our sleep. We must also warn you that if things continue the way they are now, we will be forced to call the police. My home is my castle. Locked inside, I am safe.
body borrowers. Feeding on me, driving me insane. Too fast to cut out. I'm sorry for yesterday. You were right. I overreacted. It's just that this isn't about me. It's about her. Everything I do, I do with her best interest in mind. I hated it. Always felt as if it wasn't my hand that put the letters when using it. today, while entirely worthless in artistic terms, might be an invaluable case study for psychologists. These harsh words came from none other than Jason Williams. The famed critic was one of the first to appreciate the works of, and whose praise once contributed to his first spectacular success. When asked if such brutal criticism was indeed called for, especially in light of the recent tragic events, Hughes responded, quote, as critics, it is our duty to critique art, but not to judge the artist. The man has been through a lot lately, and obviously it has taken its toll on him. Still, if we were to remain silent and pretend this is even remotely acceptable, we would be doing the artist a disservice. Other critics were only slightly more lenient, as the... Unexpected experimental streak in his usually conservative endeavors. Thomas Caldwell hosted an extraordinary exhibition opening in his gallery. Quote, This is a great day for me and my wife, said in the opening speech. Quote, For us, this is not only an exhibition, this is how we want to live our life. This music accompanies my paintings just as she will accompany me in the future. It is rumored that after the exhibition, some kind of arrangement was set between Caldwell and... The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? Have a responsibility. Finish it.
Anyone can paint on a linen canvas. I am not anyone. First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. Figured you'd be up all night, so I made you a little treat. You know, I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and snored his head off like the rest of us common folk. I know! <gasps> In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. I love you. We would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists, as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind, and as such, decided not to act further than a prophylactic spray. Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else... The next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. Sorry I haven't written in a while. I've been swarmed with work. I gotta tell you, your last letter was... troubling, to say the least. I just can't believe she would set fire to your old paintings. Why would she do that? The lady in black especially? I'm sorry for yesterday. You were right. I overreacted. It's just that this isn't about me. It's about her. Everything I do, I do with her best interest in mind. I guess I've always believed that in an imperfect world, it's worth it to strive for perfection. Ah, uh, now I'm starting to sound like my father. I will work on my temper, though. 
promise. We'll talk later. How the hell did they fuck up the length? Some call him the new Carvaggio, others compare him to Van Eyck, and one awestruck critic who wished to remain unnamed went as far as to invoke, quote, the spirit of the great Leonardo. Any way you slice it, the exhibition proved an immense success. Its distinct style has been praised for its... I had the most beautiful dream last night. I dreamt he came to... No, this is private. Feeding on me, driving me insane. Too fast. What we witnessed today, while entirely worthless in artistic terms, might be an invaluable case study for psychologists. These harsh words came from none other than Jason Hughes. The famed critic was one of the first to appreciate the works of... and whose praise once contributed to his first spectacular success. When asked if such brutal criticism was indeed called for, especially in light of the recent tragic events. Hughes responded, quote, As critics, it is our duty to critique art, but not to judge the artist. The man has been through a lot lately, and obviously it has taken its toll on him. Still, if we were to remain silent and critique... First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. Huh? It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze. We are truly thrilled to hear that you accepted our humble proposition. After discussing dates with my colleague, we find this date the best time to open the exhibition. We need time to set everything up. Getting a piano to our gallery will be no small feat. Okay guys, so we're going to leave the video here for the moment. Uh, we just finished this chapter, so in the next video we'll start the next chapter. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, hit that like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you thought. And as always, thanks for watching and we shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.